Well, this week is traditionally one of prime planting across the country. And this week's bottom line, Neil Malasson brings us up to date. And Neil, I've been traveling the state and the planters are rolling. They are in fact rolling. We're in the heart of it across the country, not just here in Louisiana. But uh, this is the time when we're trying to get the crop in the ground as fast as possible. And it gets faster and faster due to technology. But Planting is still beholden to Mother Nature to have a large enough window to plant in. So far this year, the weather has kept planting to a minimum, especially for corn. As you can see, current corn plantings of 5% complete nationwide are well behind the five-year average. However, it's still slightly ahead of 2008, and last year, in a five-day window, a third of the corn crop went into the ground. Rice, meanwhile, is well underway, although it is a bit behind schedule as well. Louisiana is well ahead of the national average, only second behind Texas in overall completion. The bottom line this week is going to be a weather system parked over large parts of the Midwest, which, if it continues to stick around, will push the plantings further and further behind for corn. With disappointing returns in South American corn and beans, the markets have now turned to planting and the weather, so all eyes are going to be on the fields for the next week or two to see what progress has been made, especially when soybeans are above the 2 to 1 price ratio to corn, making beans more and more attractive to plant. That is the bottom line this week. I'm Neil Malalson. Mike, back to you. And Neil, I got to tell you, I know there's a lot of critical windows out there for farmers, but none more critical than what we're going through right now. Absolutely. Very good. Thanks, Neil. And of course, you can listen to Neil's reports on the Louisiana Farm Bureau radio network. For a list of stations where you can tune in, click on over to our website, twilatv.org.